I was lucky enough to be the sort of second generation of directors of this team. The, the founders had got in there and, and done all the, the spade work and, and built the site, so to speak. Everything was going well, and we had the terrific support that we get from uh, Diane Ford. And so I came in, the, the seat was um, empty. Well, actually it wasn't. I remember on the first day, it wasn't empty. The previous occupant, Steve Swithin, it was still very much sitting in the desk. And I had to wait a few days before I could get him out. Uh, but he, eventually he left willingly uh, and uh, I got on with the job. Uh, I think in the early days I had quite a lot to learn about the, the processes of, of how we get these projects out of people in a way in which they can be delivered. People have always got lots more enthusiasm. Uh, we're not short of enthusiasm in the OU, but getting people to produce something that can be delivered in, in the right amount of time using the resources that we've got, drawing on the support that we can give, uh, that can be quite difficult. So it was uh, it was good to learn how to do that, to see how to do that. And, and I think uh, once I got to, to grips with that, I found actually the hardest thing was keeping in touch with the detail. I, the big picture stuff we could do, but the detail that people were uh, getting involved in, uh, reading final reports, I remember falling a little bit behind with some of that because it was interesting. You had to give it enough time. People put a lot of work into these projects. And so it was important to be able to put a lot of work into seeing the detail that they'd done. But that, that did take time. Uh, I learned a lot. Learned a great deal about scholarship, about his role, about the importance of practitioner-led scholarship for the Open University, for learning about our teaching from the way that we are doing it. Very important. Yeah, I think one of the best things I did was to pass the baton when I'd done three years and other opportunities arose. I, I was very pleased to be able to pass the baton on and to see that uh, the, the kind of people that uh, were taking over were going to pick up, right, if I'd done anything, left any seed, they were going to nurture the seeds. And, and I think they did. And I think they planted an awful lot more of their own and, and took it up uh, to the next level. So I think maybe one of the best achievements I had was not wrecking it keeping it going, getting into that second generation, getting it away from the original founders and keeping it moving forwards. I think one of the high points of all the, all the conferences that we did were, were, were great. And I think one of the high points for me was when we introduced, I think it was in my first uh, first year of running the conference, no, it was the second year of the conference. Um, I said running it, not really running it, but you know what I mean. Uh, I think what I liked about it it was we said let's go for a second day and, and let's put something different on the second day and my passion at that time and still is online teaching and practical science so i coordinated a day when we got some international experts in to come and talk to us about exactly that and we ran a set of online practical experiments looking at the technology and the pedagogy and we ran experiments in germany in the netherlands in spain in north america in Brazil and in Australia, and everything worked. Fantastic, I really loved that moment. I loved the afternoon, and, and I loved the fact that Esteem had given me a platform to suddenly get pedagogical about technology.